Yo guys, what is up? This is Scarlet's from your docs coming back at you with Discord.py episode 17 now. And today we're gonna be going over wait four. So this is essentially how to get user input in Discord.py. And we're gonna be changing our misc command. And that's gonna be our echo command that we end up changing down here. Which if we go ahead and we run the bot right now, we can just show you how it's currently working with the dad jokes up from last time so let's go ahead and clear that channel and then we can just go echo hello and the bot will say hello to us except i don't want to have to do it with the command so i'm gonna have to tell me to give it the input and we're gonna do that with the wait underscore four and so that's on the bot uh so you will have to be using commands.bot you can't be using a uh discord.client instance uh, so essentially this function is asynchronous and it waits for a WebSocket event to be dispatched. And this could be used to wait for a message, wait for reactions, that type of thing. Uh, it does time out if you tell it to time out, otherwise it'll wait forever until a message uh, suits the check. I personally would say always use the timeout just to make sure it doesn't end up waiting too long. And in the case that it does return multiple arguments, uh, it is a tuple containing those arguments that isn't returned. And it does only return the first event that meets the requirements in this check. So we've got an example one here where it waits for a user response, where it waits for the content, it waits for someone to say hello, and then once someone says hello, it will say hello back. So that's just in your on message as you do it. Except we don't want to do it with on message. I'm going to do it within a command. So how do I do that? Well, let's get into it. Let's get rid of this code right here. And well, we don't need this anymore. Let's make an emit. Discord dot emit where idle equals please. Tell me what you want me to repeat. And then let's put a timeout of a minute. So description equals this request will timeout after one minute. Done, simple. Let's just make this a variable so that we can delete it when we want because this is an echo command. It would be kind of weird if you could see that being asked for. I think my phone's going off again, so I'm just going to put that over there. It's gone, it's been yeeted onto the other side of the room because that is not a priority right now. And then we're going to wrap this in a try accept block. And the exception we're going to catch is accept asyncio dot timeout here. Now that's why I love PyCharm. Look, I have an importer asyncio. Import this name. Look at that, done. We're going to go await sent dot delete. Well, yeah, yeah, let's do it in here. So just delete the message being called and then go await ctx dot send cancel it. Do, do, I'm out. Delete that after 10 seconds. And then we are good to go. Now we just got to put something in here. The message was await self dot bot dot wait underscore four and then we need to pass in some arguments so the event we're going to be waiting for so as it's mentioned down here it's the name of the event and if we look at the event reference we just scroll down a bit these are all your events except for the string you just have to remove the on underscore prefix so this would be just disconnect this would be socket raw send. This would be message, message delete, so on and so forth. So we're going to be waiting for a message. And I'm going to have the timeout as 60. And I'm going to have the check as a uh, anonymous function that takes a message argument. And it makes sure that message dot author equals ctx dot author 
and go oh, see. Backslash and can I put that there. May not work for syntax long, but and message dot channel your ctx dot channel. That is going to yell at me for not putting a comma there. On a line for hanging indent. Reformat file, please. I may need to manually do this. Well, let's just quickly do this. I may have stuffed it up. Let's just click enter. Boom, simple, done. Continuation line, unaligned for hanging indent. What does PyCharm want me to do here? Well, we'll reformat format for, uh, we'll reformat the file and leave it at that. Now, message can return none. So it can return anything. So we want to make sure that it does return something. So the way we're going to do that is just go if message. If we do get a message as a response, we're going to delete us calling the message. We're going to delete the message and then we're going to go away ctx.send message.content let's go ahead let's rerun the bar echo please tell me what you want me to repeat this request will time out after one minute world hello world sick Let's go in here, let's stop the bar, and I'm gonna set a timeout to 10 seconds. That way I can just showcase what this accept block does. Let's go echo. Please tell me what you want me to repeat. Let's just give it 10 seconds. Let's just chill for a bit. And then hopefully it should trip that accept block, which will delete it, and then it'll say canceling due to timeout. And then after 10 seconds, that should hopefully be deleted as well. So with this, it's pretty simple really, it's a short episode, I didn't need to cover too much I don't think, except for what an event is, what a check is, and what a timeout is, and you can have check as a separate function, I just made it an anonymous function up here, that way I don't have to actually define it. Um, and then next episode I believe, we are diving into some more things with regard to reactions and using wait for to wait for reactions. So that's a bit of a continuation on this episode. And uh, other than that guys, that's pretty much this episode done. It was a really short, simple episode just to show you how to wait for messages. You can turn this into a function, which is what I do next episode, I believe, in that we make it a function and then it's really easy to call, it's really easy to use. And that just wraps it all up into a nice, easy block. So anyway guys, that is Scumless from MenuDocs. Signing off for the day. Hope you guys have a happy weekend. Peace out.